Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ELO Digital Office. In this video we will show you how to create and edit folders in ELO Office 11. ELO Office offers a repository template with predefined structures. You can customize it by adding, editing or deleting folders. In our example we will create a project folder in an existing structure and insert a default index. To create a new folder, click the Repository Work Area. Select the folder in the repository where you want to create a new folder. Click the New Folder button. The keywording dialog box opens. The Folder keywording form is selected by default. The list of keywording forms shows all keywording forms that have been configured for folders. Enter a short name. This is the folder name in ELO. Once you have entered the required information, click OK. The dialog box closes and your entries are saved. The folder has now been created in the repository and can be used for filing documents. If you have accidentally created a folder in the wrong directory, you can drag it to the right directory within the ELO repository. A dialog box opens asking whether you would like to move, reference or copy this folder. Select Move and confirm your selection by clicking OK. The folder is moved from its original location to the new position. ELO Office offers you the option to create multiple folders at the same time. This is done using the Insert Default Index function. To insert a default index, First you have to define and save a default index. In our example, we will use a project folder with child folders. Select the project folder in the repository. Select the repository tab on the ribbon. Click the button Save as default index. The Save as default index dialog box appears. If necessary, change the name for the new default index. Click OK. This saves the default index. It is then available to every user when they click Insert Default Index. In the repository, select the folder where you want to insert the default index. Click Insert Default Index. The Insert Default Index dialog box appears. Select a default index and click OK. The dialog box closes. The new default index is now created in the repository. You can delete folders and directories that you no longer need in ELO Office. Select the folder in the repository you want to delete. Click Delete. The Delete Entry dialog box appears. A prompt will ask you if you really want to delete the folder, including child folders. Confirm the dialog box by clicking Yes. We hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit our ELO Office website or contact our customer service team or ELO Office support. Thanks for watching and see you next time.